a cracker named the Grinch who lived north of Holville did not. The Grinch hated Kwanzaa the whole Kwanzaa season. He hated it almost as much as he hated any Deason. It could be his head wasn't screwed on just right. It could be perhaps that his skin was too white. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his penis was two sizes too small. I mean, hold on a second. <laughs> For whatever the reason, his color or his dick didn't make any difference. He was still the same old prick. Staring down from his crib with a big crack of frown, he despised all the hoes whose skin tone was brown. For he knows every hole down in hole there beneath was trying to give blowjobs without using their teeth. And they made him like cockroaches ever so quicker, living on welfare and drinking more liquor. Then he growled with his Grinch fingers drumming, I must find a way to stop these hoes from hopping. For tomorrow he knew all the whole offspring would wake bright and early to learn that their whole parents could afford nothing. And then they'd do something he liked least of all. Every hole down in Holville, the tall and the small, would get on their knees as if they was praying, then suck each other off, know what I'm saying? They'd suck and they'd fuck and they'd fuck, fuck, fuck. They'd fuck with their vagina, they'd fuck with their keister. They'd be fucking like rabbits as if it was Easter. And the more the Grinch thought of them fucking behind a closed door, the more the Grinch thought in nine months there'll be more. Why, for 53 years I put up with this shit. I must stop this Kwanzaa now before I throw a motherfucking fit. But how? I know what I'll do to Grinch plot this plan. I'll make me a suit and dress like the clan. Only the Grinch was an asshole he only had read, and his Ku Klux Klan suit looked like Santa Claus instead. And over the hill and beyond the meadow, it didn't take long till the Grinch found the ghetto. He saw a big house and he pulled up aside and he jumped down the chimney to steal what's inside. He ran about the house like a hooker named Shabanza, taking everything in sight that promoted Kwanzaa. Only there was a slight problem he chose to ignore. There was nothing to take. These hoes were poor. So he hit the fridge and took their pie. He stole all the food, even the great knee high. Why, the Grinch even took the last bit of quiche, and he raided their only stash of whole ash yeesh. When suddenly he heard a noise not too far away, a noise that sounded a lot like, Hey, 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 Thunderlips, what the fuck you doing in my icebox? The Grinch realized he was about to get hurt. He was stealing from the fridge of Fat Albert. Uh oh! From the other room, another voice shouted "Shut!" And suddenly, the rest of the Cosby Kids lined up. There's Rudy and Donald and Little Russell from the South, and that sloppy motherfucker they called Mushmouth. The Grinch saw he was gonna become bruised, so he shouted the following statement, hoping they'd get confused. Your mama's so ugly. When she went to the proctologist, he put his fingers in her mouth. Fat Albert and the gang saw the insult was lame, but Fat Albert felt that you could play in that game. Oh yeah? That's not what I'd do with your mama. First, I'd fuck her up and down like a lima trying to rip open a coconut. Then, after giving her the cream of wheat and her Uncle Ben, I'd answer mama her in the face and treat the bitch like a bowling ball. A bowling ball? That's what I said, motherfucker. A bowling ball. I'd pick her up, finger her, throw her in the gutter, and watch her roll back for more. Oh yeah, that's not what I do. First I'd be fucking a bitch in the mouth while dumb doll be fucking her in the ass. Then we'd spin the bitch around over a fire like a skillet and have Mushmouth pour lemon juice all over her so that Flubber Lang over here could eat the bitch. Bubba dooba bubba badger bitch Bubba Lang. Rudy, you're like Arsenio Hall. Arsenio Hall? Yep. Black, 
broke, it turned funny. At this moment, the Grinch watched them shout and figured it was the perfect time for him to sneak out. The Grinch returned home to his palace on the hill and began to think of the poor holes who had knew. I've done wrong and been such a glutton, but that Kwanzaa gives hope to some of those who have nothing. So that Kwanzaa morning, well in Hoville, they say, that the Grinch's small dick grew three sizes that day. Well, that actually happened because he saw Cindy Low Hall getting changed in the window. Well, Fat Albert happened to be high on the methadone and accidentally invited the Grinch into his home. Happy Kwanzaa, my brothers! I have something for you! It's a pre-owned videotape of Black Spring Break 2. And they watched the used movie and laughed till they got sick, but it didn't have the fact that the reformed Cracker Grinch was still a cheap prick. You're a Cracker, Mr. Grinch. A redneck, honky wasp. You're the whitest of the white folk, but now you're trying to be black, Mr. Grinch.